So this is the 10 reasons I came up with why people choose to go with us. One, their Google business listing was suspended. Terrible feeling, especially, and you guys that are listening to this, you guys know if your business is 94% Google, <laughs> Google listing uh, dependent. And ask yourself, do you want to rest your laurels on that? Have you heard of the Google slap? Have you ever been shadow banned? Do you know they would suspend your account and you didn't do anything wrong? So if that accounts for 94% of your business, be prepared for a storm. Yeah, overnight. Overnight. Now, I'll give you guys a real life example. And I know you don't have as many listings as I do. So I absorbed the blow a little bit differently than you guys, but I had 70 listings. I was an agency, right? So that's expected. I think it was, yeah, two years ago, January, 12 of my listings got suspended. I was like, I ain't sweating it. I have 70. Then two weeks later, another four got suspended. I was like, all right, something's going on. Then I didn't hear anything from them for about a week. And then all of them got suspended except for two. Two that kind of made it through a side crack somewhere that I, I must have engineered. But I got to see what being 90% dependent on Google listing can do to you. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, wiped out overnight. Wiped out. Agency. Agency level. Not, not sole practitioner. They did that. Oh, well, you're probably saying to yourself, well, I don't, uh, I don't plan to open up an agency. It don't matter. None of my listings said I was an agency, though. Yeah. They were customized to the state that I was targeting. So that's number one, Google listing rejected. That happens a lot. Maybe you had a previous business. You were, uh, you know, you did a Google listing for that previous business. Now Google won't let you get a new listing because you still have that listing. So, okay. Happens all the time. I, got, I had a trucking company once and now mm -hmm. I'm using that same Gmail account. Oh, really? So now you want to open up a notary account. Oh, really? No. Right. Okay. Uh, quick results. See, the thing with other advertising companies, and no shade to them, get your money. But what's different between them and us is that we understand this industry, where they're just playing around in this industry. So they have to do research. They have to try to understand what is the notary business? How do they talk? What, what makes sense to the buyer? How can I attract the eyeballs of a person seeking a notary? So they have to do all of that research development. So like for the first couple of months, these guys are just testing. Yeah, wasting money. Wasting your money, testing the market. In meantime, they're charging you $2,500 a month. You see why I said we're grossly underpriced? $2,500 a month for one account. Yeah, and they're still in the learning phase. Like there's a learning, in the learning phase. phase. Google has to, not only them, but the Google itself has to be in a learning phase. So they actually have to accumulate some of these, Some they got to accumulate some data. Yes. Something. And you pay for that. 
when you don't cope with a specialist. Yeah, we're the specialists in the game. Yeah, and it's a really tough situation to be in because you're going to go through it on one. I mean, you try to minimize that as much as possible. And there's different strategies and different techniques that um, advertisers will use. And there's there's these different approaches to Google, whether or not you should use adword bidding, you should use keyword bids, or you should use certain, um, you know, you know, without getting too technical or too in, much in the weeds, there are certain people who try to minimize, because everyone knows that you have to go through that phase, whether you work with the law, a personal injury lawyer, or you work with um, hot tub installers, or you work with photographers, you have to go through this learning phase. So the, the key is to shorten that up as much as possible. But what if the people you work with, the ad agency you work with, they already have it. Mm -hmm. There is You've minimized that learning curve like as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, there's only one way to do that. Right. So increase visibility. I've seen that pop up a lot. What does that refer to? When they talk about like Instagram. Out of sight, out of mind. If you're not, if I'm looking for a notary and you're not there, that means I have an opportunity to go with another company. Okay, absolutely. Right? So the visibility would be, okay, if a person is looking for a notary, out of 10 of them, I want to be in front of six, seven of them. I at least want to be in the competing race. Because I know I got a better product. I know I got a better service. If they're looking for a notary, I should be the notary. I used to be pissed when people would uh, call other notaries and be like, man, you're like the fifth person I called. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> because I was like, damn, I should have popped up for all five. Those are five different searches. Ah. I didn't pop up at none of them. I was like, okay. It won't be number one. Really? Um, passion for the niche. Well, increased visibility, passion for the niche, which what we have. Um, just check our resume. Check our resume and see the type of, the amount of work we put into this industry. Um, high quality marketing campaigns. Of course, you don't want no low quality shit. <laughs> 